YouTubers, good afternoon. Thank you for stopping by my page. Today we're going to go over the laptop interface with the TV. Today I couldn't use my wife's computer because for one, she's on it and two, it's a government computer. And I try to keep her away from the government as much as I possibly can. But anyway, I'm going to show you on this TV here that we just reviewed here. It's going to be the same principle of what you need to do to hook this up. So today I'm going to show you how to hook it up. Well, the first thing I want to do is show you something. I'm going to unplug the HDMI from the cable box that's going through the TV. And run that over here to the TV here. Got my HDMI port here and the HDMI to the TV. So what I want to do is just plug that up to the HDMI cable. Won't go in but one way. Display port into the Surface Pro display port. Plug that into that. Just turn it on here. So I got my display port. Let me move this out the way here. And I'll be using the Surface Pro to interface with the TV. And these are some of the things you'll need to make that interface. One of the things I needed to make my wife's older laptop work was a display port. This display port allows me to connect to a HDMI port. There are many different types of display ports, such as the one for my Microsoft Surface Pro takes a totally different display port, which is a smaller connection that connects to uh, HDMI. This particular display port that I got from Best Buy, it was around $30 for this display for the Surface Pro. You might even have a display port such as this, which is an older model with the blue connector, but they also make adapters for this older display as well to connect to an HDMI port. All these adapters are available on Amazon, Best Buy, just about any electronic store. So let's get into setting up the monitor. I want to put the HDMI on whatever HDMI your cable is connected to. HDMI 1, 2, or 3. Mine just, just happened to be 1. After you get a connection to the HDMI, right click on the desktop. This should bring up your display settings in the display settings. You want to scroll down and go to where it says extend this display. If you don't see extend this display, that means you don't have the HDMI and the TV interface. If you do see extend this display, click on it and then save it and apply. After you have applied these display settings, it will make it easier for you to move one screen to another. Therefore, let me show you how I did that. I just click on and open uh, Google and slide it right in to the screen. Just that easy. Now you can work with two screens at the same time. Let's try open another one. And this is my Corel Studio video that I use to edit my videos, all those that I edit on YouTube. Let's see, can I get this to open on the main screen? And then I have Google in the background. Works perfectly. Let's try one more here. I'm gonna open Word. This is one of the programs that a lot of people use. You wanna get some production in, I'll put Word in the background here. Expand it. And then I can just type what I want in Word. And if I want to, also I can just change something on the Surface Pro screen to be able to type what I want and look at both screens at the same time. Sometimes you might have to look up something. Looking that up is just as simple as that. You can make it, you more productive and you can use the monitor as a TV as well. So knocking out two birds with one stone. This has been TP Tech. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Please hit that like button. It does help us out. 